I think one of the most incredible things about the early martyrs, especially and the late martyrs and really, truly all of the saints was not just the fact that they were brave and holy, which of course is impressive, but the fact that they did not compromise. They understood the lines that were drawn in the sand of faith and of belief, and they didn't cross them. And sometimes they were killed for that. And and I think that's that's a really important lesson for us today, at, especially at State of a Contest, those of us who are, that we don't compromise. And the only way that that's possible to, to be able to know what not to compromise is to understand the faith. I mean, I, I think one of the best examples is, I think it was St. Bibiana, I could be wrong, but I think it was St. Bibiana who was offered a cake in order to, I guess, eat the cake in honor of the gods. So she wasn't, she wasn't tortured. She wasn't told to, to stamp on the face of Christ or anything like that. She was given a cake and said, hey, if you eat this, then in, in honor of the pagan gods, then you're fine. We'll let you go. And she didn't. She took the cake. She threw it out on the ground and she stamped on it. And that, I think, is beautiful. That was literally not giving into anything. That was literally not eating a cake that was offered to some different pagan deity and, and thus a, a devil, really. And I think that we have to understand that that is one of the most important things in our religion, in our lives, is to not compromise, to know what we have to stand up for and what we are not allowed to bend on. And the only way we can do that is to know our faith and to learn our faith and to do that through really reading the catechism, read my Catholic faith, talk to your priest. If you have questions about the faith, talk to them about it. Go and study and try to learn it and, and, and have some apologetics in terms of understanding, not even just to defend against other religions, but to be able to defend our own faith so that we know when that line comes, we will not compromise. And there's so many things that can distract us these days with, in term, even in state of contest and different ways of finding a solution, which I do think are important. And I do think we should look for answers or some people should, I think the clergy and the bishops especially, but that's all totally, totally nonsense in a way, if you don't know your faith, if we don't know our faith, I know me too, of course. And if we don't know it and understand it and know what the line is, where we, we must never back down, if that has to do with, with morality or society or with apostasy. And these are things we need to understand if we want to be saints, if perhaps we want to be martyrs. Now, I think most of us would agree that we don't want that to happen. We don't want to have to die or put our bodies on the line, but... As good Catholics, we should be willing to do that and be ready for that. And we must, must, must know what it is that we should be willing to die for. Of course, that's God. But what does that mean? Let's look into it. Study our Catholic faith. Study our simple catechism and know what it is that we should never, ever compromise.